Hello everybody, in this lesson I will show you how to find the equation of a parabola when two x-intercepts or roots are given. There's three types. Let's start with type 1. Given will be two roots or two x-intercepts. And remember, another name for an x-intercept is a root or the graph's zeros. Now, there's an equation that you're going to use. And this equation is y is equal to bracket x minus root 1 bracket x minus root 2. And this equation is not on the formula sheet. Let's do an example. The question says... Find the equation of the parabola with x-intercepts 3 and negative 1. So you will start with the formula that you memorized. And in the roots places, you will substitute the 3 and the negative 1. And use plenty of brackets, especially this side, at the x minus bracket minus 1. Then you multiply it out, x minus 3 bracket x plus 1. And then we don't stop there. We always multiply out the brackets and we give the answer in standard form. Therefore, the equation of this parabola is y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3. Let's look at type 2. Given two roots or two x-intercepts, and one other point. Now, how does this one differ from type 2, uh, from type 1? Type 1, only two roots were given. Here, in type 2, two roots plus another point is given. Now, which formula to use or which equation? This one is y is a bracket x minus root 1, x minus root 2. So, you add an a there. And remember, the formula is not on the formula sheet. Here's the example. Find the equation of the parabola with x-intercepts 4 and 0. So the x-intercepts 4 and 0 are your roots, passing through the point 3 and 1,5. And then this other point consists of an x and a y. And that is how you're going to calculate a's value. So into the formula that you memorized, first let's substitute the two roots. So we end with y equals a bracket x minus 4 bracket x minus 0. Now we're going to take this other point that was given and it consists of x and a y. And in x and y's place, we're going to substitute the values so that we can calculate the value of a. Therefore, in y's place, 1,5 equals a bracket in x's place. And can you see, everywhere there's two x's, everywhere where you see an x, you substitute the 3. So it's a bracket 3 minus 4 bracket 3 minus 0. Then we can say 3 minus 4 is negative 1, 3 minus 0 is 3. And here you will say minus 1 times 3, and you end with 1,5 equals minus 3a. And then to solve a, we will divide both sides by negative 3. And we end with a's value is minus 0, 0,5. Then to give the equation, we go back to this step over there, where y is equal to a bracket x minus 4, x minus 0. This is where you substituted your two roots or your two x-intercepts. And then you know a's value now. It's minus 0, 0,5. So you substitute it in. And then you will quickly multiply out the equation. You multiply out the brackets. And you say x minus 0 is just x. And then I wrote the x in front. And now I'm going to multiply in the minus 0,5x into that bracket. And my final answer, y is equal to minus 0,5x squared 
plus 2. In the next video, I will discuss a practice example on how to find the equation of a parabola when two x-intercepts are given. Click on the video in the left-hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson.